Chief executive pay is rising and big shareholders are starting to revolt. That's the conclusion from As You Sow. The organization puts together this list of the most overpaid CEOs and they're based on the ratio between CEO pays and the medium pay of workers at the company. So you've got Fleetcore, Oracle, Broadcom, Mondelez. They are the top of the list. Look at that, Robert Iger is also on the list. Companies from every sector. Joining me now, Rosanna Landis-Weaver is the programme manager for As You Sow. Uh, when we look at that list, and we look, bring it up again, at least the top five, what is your fundamental complaint? Because obviously CEOs are going to get paid more than anybody else in the company. And that's entirely reasonable. More than anyone else in the company is one thing. But the rate of increase of CEO pay over the last few decades has been 10 times as fast, at least, as the rate of uh, pay for average workers. Just a real quick note, too. Yep. We include the uh, ratio, because that's new and exciting data, and everyone loves that. But the methodology right. is a little bit more complex sure. than that. So um, the, the idea of and, and who the idea of the, the watchers, for example, you, I read in the report, fund managers that own the stock tend not, or the company tend not to be that concerned, but pension funds do. Right. Well, and I, I think, you know, frankly, I think BlackRock and, and Vanguard would tell you they're very concerned too. It's more that they don't uh, take their concerns into votes. They are more likely to do backroom conversations, but they would also say, that they see significant problems, I believe, with CEO pay. Certainly, Larry Fink's letters and so forth have, have indicated that income inequality is something that he thinks about. But again, they are more into backroom negotiations, whereas the pension funds are more likely to actually take a stance and vote no. And again, this is a fairly recent thing in the US. You, you have had that privilege longer than we have, but it's only been since 2010 that US investors have been able to vote on pay. All right. now. Um, what do you think is, a, is a, as an acceptable <laughs> ratio from top to bottom? Now, this is the ratio from the highest to the lowest or from the highest to the mean? This is the median employee. This is right. what the SEC required. Well, I will tell you, Plato told Aristotle five times. Uh, J.P. Morgan, I believe, said 20. There, uh, Peter Drucker had his uh, high 20s or something. People have different ideas. I think one way we can really see uh, interesting distinction with this new disclosure information is comparing like to like companies. Right. <laughs> so Walmart, for example, the CEO makes well over a thousand times what the median worker does. Costco, which is more or less a competitor, has a hundred times. That's Got because it. they have more reasonable CEO pay and better worker pay too. So you, when you compare like to like, you, you get a a look at this. It is a fascinating subject and we're grateful you came to tell us about it. We'll talk more about it. Thank you. Thank you.